Hey guys, it's Jaylon. Welcome back. I'm here today to do my update for the Partners in Cream Project Pan. This is a project that was created by Steph Lyons and Delenn over at Outward Processing here on YouTube. And this is a project where we focus on using cream and liquid products. So no powders whatsoever. And I had five items in this project last month and I still have five. I'm not able to roll anything out, but I am going to go ahead and roll something in because I'm crazy. Okay. So let me share with you the items that I am still working on. So I have my Natasha Denona diamond and blush palette. And here I was working on the cream highlighter and I am making, I'm, I'm using it. I'm using it more frequently and I feel like I'm really close to hitting pan and that's my goal is to hit pan on this I meant to use it today and I totally forgot but it's a it's basically just a, a really nice base for a highlighter it's not going to give you a ton of glow as you can see there I mean it does give you some glow but it's not like bam in your face it's very subtle and I do like it as a base for highlighters in general or, you know, the highlighters in here, which I haven't really played with the highlighters in here. I need to. This is probably going to be something that I work on next year. But if I like top both of the highlighters on top of that, that's, you know, it's, it's a beautiful glow. So anyway, working on that, hopefully I can hit pan before the end of the year. That is my goal. I've been trying to hit pan on that forever. Okay, next up we have, and I think this was like the next thing I rolled in, the Makeup Forever Artist Rouge Creme Lipstick in shade C211. This is Rosewood. And so I have this little mini and I'm just trying to finish this up. I, this is a broken lipstick. It's a little mini broken lipstick. But this is how much is left in here. And I re made really great progress on this in the last month. So I think I used, well, I don't have to think. I can look at my book. So I didn't use half of what I needed to use, but I used at least a third of what was left in here. So we still have a little bit to go, but I'm pretty happy with the progress. And like I've said before, I don't go digging. So whatever's on the top part of this is what I'm gonna use. I have been applying this mostly with a lip brush. Sometimes I'm too lazy to go get a lip brush and I'm like, I wanna wear this now and I'll put it on. So this is something that I try to wear I've been trying to wear it once a day. It's kind of been my goal with that. We'll see how that goes. Next up, I have my Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Liquid in Champagne Pop. So it's this one here. This is how I'm doing on this. So I don't know if my starting line was here. That was kind of like my best guess. I may have been further down than that. So I don't know if I used all of that in the first update. But I am almost halfway to finishing this. Probably about a well, over a third for sure. But yeah, almost to a half. And the way that I've been measuring this is just to unscrew this guy. And then based on where the top of the like usage, it looks like it's over there. That's where I'm marking. Did I mark it too high or too low? I did, I marked it too low or too high, excuse me. Let me fix this because I'm actually down here. Yeah, so that's more more like where I am. So yeah, I don't, I try to use this every day. I still have my Auric Morganite in a project that's just like 10 uses. And I think I have maybe four uses left to go on that. But almost every other day I use this. So I've been using that pretty consistently. It did not go with me on my trip to Hawaii though. So I did not use this for like an entire week. 
Okay, next up I have the Pat McGrath Lust Gloss in the shade Divine Rose. This is beautiful. I really do love this formula and I love this color. I didn't swatch this rosewood. It's one of my, this Makeup Forever lipstick is one of my favorite lipsticks of all time. It's like one of my favorite lip colors and I loved the formula. I don't know if they have something comparable in their new lip line that they just released. I think they recently released them. I have a duo that's coming to me from Sephora from the VIB root VIB Rouge sale. So we'll see how that formula compares. But anyway, onto the Pat McGrath. So this is a beautiful gloss, a beautiful formula. I love it. <laughs> As I mentioned, this is in the shade Divine Rose. My goal is to use this 20 times, and I, I put a higher usage mark on this because I have so many of these glosses, I need to get use on them, and I don't ever put glosses in projects. So I need to remember that next year to at least put some usage goals on glosses. But anyway, so it's beautiful. I really have enjoyed using that for like really drying lip products. And the last product that I had in was the Rare Beauty Melting Blush in Nearly Mauve. I love this. I think, who is it? Jessica Braun is not a fan of this blush, but I love it. I think it's really nice. I don't have any problems with it blending out. I do use it as a base, so I'm not using it, you know, as like my, my oh, the only blush that I have on my face. It's really just a base but I like it. I'm very tempted to get a second one. There we go, blend it out. It's so pretty. My goal is to hit pan on this. It's going to be a while before that happens. So this is definitely gonna be rolling into this project next year if it's still around. I'm hoping it comes back. I would assume that it comes back, but anyway, yep. Yeah. So it's going to be the blush that I roll over into the new year. And then while I'm at it, I was like, let me just add one more product because I am using this consistently and I just want to track my progress on this. So I'm going to bring back my Smashbox color correcting stick. So I had it in the project earlier. My goal was to use like a third of what was left in here. And they're really, I mean, this is how much is left in this pencil. Now, a little bit goes a long way with this, and because I came back from the beach, I can't really use my Becca corrector, it's too light. So I'm using this now, and I really do love this corrector, as I've mentioned in my last videos, for canceling out dark circles, because I got some, <laughs> I got some dark, dark circles, and I really love this. It's not going to get rid of my bags, only thing that's gonna do that is surgery. <laughs> but this is a great product for correcting uh, dark circles. I really do like it. So I just wanna see what my usage is, is going to be on this because like I said, I can't, I'm, I'm back to using it reg regularly and I can't use the Becca corrector. It's too, it's too fair for my skin right now. So we'll see how I go with that. I am going, I need to remember to mark it in my book. Hey, beautiful. He's like, why are you touching me? Why are you touching me? So anyway, guys, that is my update for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you're doing well and staying safe. Please hit that subscribe button and I'll see y'all next time. Bye. It's up there. You're gonna have to go get it. Hi. So anyway, that is my update for today. Hopefully you guys are doing well and staying safe. No, 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 no. No, 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 no.
Oh, you broke it, Marley. He broke it. <laughs> Fine. It was already broken. 